Hello, hello, and welcome to day 19 of this Unity Game Development Journal. Well, um, I'll just show you the sprites real quick, like a tradition at the beginning here to show you the what I did today for the sprite work, and I got this whole sheet done. Um, it's the four directional directions of travel for pushing an object, uh, plus one with the hands just closer together um, for just certain circumstances where that's going to be useful. Um, anyways, that is complete. So that's all of the character stuff complete. It's pretty amazing. Um, there might be a few I might do later on, but for the most part, this character's done. Time to move on to the next character. And I, always, I already have an idea of sort of a little creature that I'm going to uh, draw up to be the uh, first little enemy that I have to face. Um, and that, that's coming straight from the story that um, that's being created by Joseph. So uh, let's dive into the editor here. Now, um, today was, like I said yesterday, it was going to be all about the saving the, ob the um, game objects. So, for instance, the gems. Now, I started this, and at about 11 o'clock tonight, it was not working. I had, I had gotten it so there's no bugs, uh, no errors showed up, but it just wasn't actually doing, it, doing what I wanted it to do. It wasn't working at all. So I was going to make a video just saying, this is what I worked on today, and you know I'll finish it off tomorrow and get it working. But then I thought, oh, I'll just throw another 30 to 40 minutes onto it. So it's 11.40 p.m. at night, and I actually got it working. So um, I'm glad I did do that. Because uh, then I can go to sleep in a little bit <laughs> easier knowing that it's done. Uh, so let's just demonstrate this. Um, so I'm going to go in here and uh, we'll click new game. Now I'll make this bigger. Um, what's going to happen here is um, I had to take the gems out. Because the way the system works now for saving is it saves uh, anything that that shows up. Like is spawned into the world. And then it removes it if I pick it up. So things that the uh, Unity that I set up in the project here as game objects, like pre-instantiated here, then it doesn't keep track of that stuff because it's already built into the the scene here, so it doesn't need to know about it. But anything that just shows up in the world and then I pick up uh, is, is managed in the save. So let's go through. Um, in order to make this work though, I, I had to create a spawning uh, thing. So I created a little gem spawner and it, I placed it right here. I don't have a sprite image on it, but it's it's in that location. So I hooked it up to the P key. So if I hit P, it just spawns a, a gem there. So pretty easy bit of code. So I'm gonna go up to our save sign here and I'm just going to save it and we'll come back here and you can see uh, the gem is there. So I'll just go out of here and come back in this is mainly a video just to show the functionality is working now. Um, so I'm going to come down here and you can see the gem is there. So if I pick this gem up and I come over here and I save it once again, I really need to get some sort of UI saying you saved it or something. Uh, but anyways, we'll go out here. Another thing I need to do is have it so I can just go back to the main menu, which is a lot easier than hitting this play button every once in a while. So I'll just come back in here and if it all worked, yep, there's no gem. So I can spawn that gem back come in here, save it, exit, come back in, and this will be the last time I do this, just to sort of make sure everything's working good. Okay, so there's the gem. So let's uh, let's get out of here, and one last check to make sure it is working. We'll just do a brand new game with that save in place. You can see there's no gem down there, even though there was in the last previous save. Um, I'll save this as a new uh, game. We'll just come back up here, and we have the two saves here, so this one will be the newest one where um, there is no gem. Thinking, yep, yeah. really need to name those things differently. And then we can just spawn. What happens if I spawn a bunch? Well, they're all there, and I'm not going to be able to pick them up. Yeah, it filled my inventory with them, but there's still a bunch there. So let's go up, and for fun, let's just throw them into here. We'll get rid of all those. I wonder how many actually spawned. You can see them all on the side here, spawned up. So we can grab those and boom, they're gone. So that's handy. Um, we'll just throw these out. Wonder, oh, 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 here. Okay, I clicked outside. I was wondering, like, did, I, did I break something? I just clicked outside of the game. Okay, so I'm going to spawn a few more and test something. Um, we'll spawn like what, a whole bunch of them. I don't really need to count them. We'll go up here and we'll save this. We'll exit out, and this is going to end the video off. I'll also make sure there's a whole pile of them there. Yep, there is. So there's a whole pile of Ruby clones there. 
um, boom we'll grab those up and test that our guy works yeah it is a fine day I still didn't fix that little thing so uh, yeah you can have it perfect perfect we'll go make sure that that saved didn't break and this guy should be happy that I already saved his life with getting him this gem so he's gonna be super happy I won't forget how you helped me out perfect so nothing broke there everything still works the same and we got a sword for trading them excellent so there you go today's done I actually got the save system working for game objects or world objects which is a huge difficult task to do it seems like it'll be easy but it's not every save system is different in every game depending on how you're transitioning through your scenes on how your objects are spawn how you're managing saves in the first place there's so many variables in it that there's no one solution fits all so it's sort of you have to create one to fit your game and it's extremely difficult to get all the pieces to work the concepts are easy but the getting the pieces to work is hard so yeah i use a delegate here and a uh event uh, trigger um so i have a whole bunch of uh, an event machine that's going off um based on uh, a delegate so it just sort of every uh gem or ruby has its own save function and it calls over to the uh, game model and says you know i've been spawned in the world here's my save function so when you're calling save call me too and if I pick it up, it says, oh, I've been picked up. Don't call my save function anymore. And that's sort of the communication between everything. So that's what I did to get that all to work. But anyways, keep the video short enough here to uh, um, give you guys enough information, but not bore you. And yeah, so it, subscribe if you want to follow along with the game development. If you have questions or comments, comment below. Like the video, please. That would really help me out. And uh, we'll talk to you later.